What's up guys, welcome back for another EVE Online video. This is going to be going over my Max Yield Mercoxus skiff. Mercoxus is a great thing to mine in Null. It has a very, very high ISK per M3 when it's converted into Morphite. So it's great for like mining in Null and then shipping off to Jita. It's great. It's a very slow process. The mining by nature is just a very slow cycle time. I'm going to go over the clone and the fit. Um, I usually, for my max yield stuff, I bling out quite a bit, so keep in mind that this clone and the fit are going to be pretty expensive. The clone's expensive just because, you know, we're using um, a set, but, like, it's an investment because you can use it, the clone, with, like, moon mining or normal asteroid mining and stuff like that, so it's definitely an investment across, you know, mining in general. So we'll start off with that. For slots 1 through 6, you're going to use mid-grade harvest. If you can't afford the mid-grade, you can go with low-grade here. What this is essentially going to do is going to give you a little bit of attribute stats, but mainly it's going to give you mining laser um, range. And then the Michigan's Excavation Augmenter is going to give you 5% mining yield, which helps. And then the long-range targeting you have to have because with the harvest, and your, your laser range is going to be higher than your targeting range. So you want to get max... You want to get your long range targeting skill max and also this implant to help compensate for that. I use shield operations here for slot 9. There's not really any better option here so I just throw that in there. And then your high wall mining MX1005 is going to be another 5% on your mining yield as well. And pretty much anything that I consider high yield, um, you know, if you're working with a high, why don't we work with like a high yield skiff or a high yield hulk, the this clone is essential to be to being considered you know high yield because you have the ten percent for the uh, coming from the combined ten percent coming from Michis and the uh, MX one zero zero five plus the range is just a uh, a quality of life thing especially if you're mining with boost right now going over the fit starting with the rig slots we want to use a medium Mercoxis mining crystal optimization what this will do is this will just give us a more mining amount bonus so sixteen percent. And then I use a medium core defense extender 2 here for a little bit more tank. Your high slot, we're going to be using two modulated deep core strip miner 2s. And we want to use the Mercoxus Asteroid Mining Crystal Type A2. I don't recommend using anything other than Type A2s. And as you can see with our uh, implants and everything, we have a 20k unboosted range. And our yield is 1854 M3 per 180 seconds. So it's roughly uh, 10.3 M3 a second, which will go up if you're um, boosted from an Orca, Oracle, or a Porpoise. For your mid slots, you, I use a survey scanner too, just so I can check the density of the rock as I go, so I don't over cycle, because if there's not very much left on the rock, and I can get it done by going half or quarter cycle, then I can, uh, I can do that. I use a hardener and then an amplifier. I'm using a GIS C type and a GISTM C type for kinetic. The uh, type can change based on what area you're in and what uh, rats you might encounter. And then I use a, sh a shield extender here as well. I use a Caldari Navy shield extender, which is pretty much my go-to that I've used pretty much always with my skiff. Your lows are going to be the AO mining laser upgrades. These have a higher yield per than the actual regular mining laser upgrade twos. As you can see here, it has a CPU penalty of 6%, but also has a mining bonus amount of 10%. So we try to use those to get to that max yield. Overall, Merc mining is extremely lucrative. It's a slow process. It's something you have to get used to. If you can, try to be boosted for it. And as you can see here, this cloud has popped here, but um, it's actually not doing any damage to me. It shows up as a mining pollution cloud. It'll do more damage to drones, so if you're actually fighting rats that have come on grid, then uh, you don't want your drones to be necessarily uh, passing through, which is why I normally just orbit at like five five k, which gets me away from the rock considerably, or away away from the cloud pop radius considerably, and uh, and then I just try to like make sure that my drones don't pass through it because for light drones it will just you know knock them out which is kind of annoying i also recommend training into the uh maxing out the uh skill for mercox's reprocessing five just so you get more more fight when you refine as well because that's the kind of name of the game right you want to mine a ton of this stuff and then refine it into more fight and then throw it in like a crane a blockade runner of some sort or whatever and take the gita and sell it right very very good income I will put the fit and I'll put the clone in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. 
hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.